Hello and welcome back to more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. In the last video, we took on the Elite Four, Aaron, Bertha, Flint, and Lucian, and defeated all four of them in some pretty hard-fought battles. And now, we are onwards, moving on to the champion, which I'm not going to spoil who it is, just in case you guys don't know. You probably do, if you're a fan of this game, um, or the series. But yeah, we're actually, I guess we should take on the champion with a fully healed up team. So let me just fix these little issues over here. Just a second, guys. There we go. So I'm actually not sure who to lead with. I also was considering putting Soft Sand on my Garchomp. But I think let's, uh, let's just put the Amulet Coin on there. And I guess let's lead with him because he is my star of the show. Infernape is obviously my starter, and these four, uh, Luxray, Star Raptor, and Roserade, have had since like the first two or three routes, but Garchomp's my favorite and probably the star. So, anyways, here we go. We're going to be taking on the champion, and here goes nothing. Bit of a longer hallway here, just for some suspense, I think. And here we go. Piano. And there she is. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon League Champion, I accept your challenge, and we are going to be battling against Cynthia. I love this song. I'm just going to let it play for like, maybe half a minute or so. Fully stacked with a team of six is going to be an intense battle. Alright, so if you couldn't tell, I really like Cynthia, and I really like this theme. Uh, it's amazing. Um, but we are into the battle against Cynthia. I forgot to restore my Earthquake PP. That is actually going to be a big pain. Um, that's actually going to be pretty big. I might actually have to do that later. But, uh, for now, I guess, because I think two Earthquakes could take him out, honestly. I don't think I'll one-shot him by any means. But she leads out with Spiritomb. Yeah, exactly two shots, so... Oh, he has a berry, though. That's annoying. Um, Citrus Berry, I guess? Yeah, okay, so... Dark Pulse comes in, that's gonna hurt, probably. She is obviously gonna be very well trained up, very strong. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Bulldoze, because, as you saw, Spiritomb does have pressure. So I'll actually run out of Earthquake PP after this. So I'm actually gonna just gonna Earth a Bulldoze, so that I can set her up to get into Earthquake range. Did avoid the move there. And yeah, the theme is awesome, Cynthia is awesome, this is going to be a very hard fought battle, so let's give it our best. Gonna go for the Quake, Sucker Punch comes in pretty well played, I guess, uh, but Earthquake will seal the deal. By, by the way, I believe Cynthia has a Garchomp of her own, which is amazing, um, but we thankfully do have a great response to it, of course, in the Frostlass on our team. So, my Lotig is coming out next, and that is going to be trouble. Uh, for Garchomp. We're actually going to get out of here, because I think he might have Ice Beam on this one. So let's actually just go Luxray, because if we if she does have Ice Beam on the Milotic, um, Roserade won't enjoy switching into that either, so actually just going to go Luxray for kind of a neutral uh, damage fodder, I guess. Let's see. Because I, I really think she might have Ice Beam. Like, she would have good moves on her Pokemon. Um, yeah, Ice Beam. Also makes sense why she sent him out into my own Garchomp. Obviously, to threaten, and we do get frozen, unfortunate, but and she gets burned, which is also going to be annoying. I think she is going to have a Marvel scale on there, maybe. Um, I probably can't mess around with this one, honestly, so we're going to have to heal up. The question is, do I? I guess I will full restore just because I do also have some health to recover back. Lumberry would be nice, but it wouldn't heal up the HP, so let's go for the full restore. 
Sparky is thrilled to bits. Scald, okay, I thank god. I hope I don't get burned, that would really suck. Um, and I don't even think I'll two-shot KO with Spark because of the Marvel scale, but maybe I will. Let's see. Yeah, that is unbelievably tanky. Um, kind of annoying, actually. But, wow, okay, this I didn't ask for, though. Uh, that's kind of getting lucky. I'm actually going to go for Crunch now because I don't want to put her in range of getting full restored. Okay, withdraw. What's coming out then? Gastrodon. Okay, that's going to be... Okay, that's really good that I went for Crunch then, because that was actually a really smart switch by her, and that would have fully taken the... Uh, that would have been immune to the spark, of course. Leftovers, I'm going to zoom on Gastrodon. But you guys know the drill with Water Ground. A Roserade Giga Drain is going to absolutely destroy that thing. So... Earthquake might be coming out, but Giga Drain is also going to be coming out. He, she could actually switch on to this. Might be a good play. Let's see what she goes for. Yeah, Earthquake, kind of expected. Would have done pretty good damage to Luxray. Actually does pretty good damage to Roserade too, but she's going to have to switch, or that's going to be a dead Gastrodon after this turn. Or a fainted Gastrodon, should I say. Here we go, though. And she doesn't switch, so I guess she couldn't have really anticipated it, but yeah, there was no way he was surviving that. Four times super effective. And I believe, she, so what else would she have? I think she might have a Togekiss on here, or is that in Platinum? Uh, might also have a Roserade. Obviously, she's going to have very strong Pokemon. My Lotic comes back out. Okay, so not sure why this came out, because I think Marvel Scale only boosts her defense, not special defense, so actually might just get taken out by this Giga Drain here. Yeah, it does just get taken out, so not the right play with the Milotic. I guess Milotic does have pretty good special defense, but not enough, obviously, so... And actually, that's really nice, because she has a Milotic that's going to fill up our Pokédex. So we actually... We don't own a Milotic, I do want to own one, I want to own everyone in the Pokédex, but we do only have that one Pokémon missing, the one between Riolu and uh, Snorlax, which I do actually have to figure out who it is. But everyone is leveling up. Discharge is probably not going to be a move that I keep, actually. Just because I already do have the Volt Switch as a special move, and it's much better in terms of utility. I mean, I don't really want to go for the Paralysis. I do just have Thunder Waves guaranteed Paralysis. Crunch is really good uh, coverage, and he is a physical attacker, not special, so Spark would still do more than Discharge, I'm pretty sure. Uh, take a look at the difference between his attack and special attack there, so yeah. We're going to give up on that. He should be getting Wild Charge at some point in the distant future. Um, so who's coming out? Roserade comes out. Roserade on Roserade action. I think it is finally time for Infernape to have something to do, because he has not been really doing the best so far. Um, so let's go. Let's give him a chance to shine. And I think Roserade could get, like, Psychic or something, so I really hope... Okay, that did a lot of damage. I'm going to hope that Flame Wheel will do enough, although I don't... Okay, he actually outspeeds me. That is kind of sad, actually. My Infernape hasn't really done much at all in, in this Elite Four. Uh, and he is my starter, so that is a bit unfortunate. I think I'm actually going to revive him, just because I do want him to be part of the battle. Even though he's not doing the best, I don't want him to feel left out. And I guess he deserves it. Let's go for a Max Revive on him, not just Normal Revive. Even though I'm not sure where you can get Max Revives from, other than the Grand Underground. But there we go. And by the way, Staraptor should live... Yeah, Sludge Bomb should live it pretty easily. I mean, that's going to do a lot. We do get Poison as well, actually. That's going to be a pain. So, Staraptor could go down here. Uh, yeah, actually, she is going to go down if I go Brave Bird, so I'm actually going to heal up. And hopefully he doesn't. she doesn't go for um, Sludge Bomb again. Or at least hopefully I don't get poisoned again, because I do want to survive after Brave Bird. I do want to kind of win this with everyone being alive. Hopefully. Could be a difficult task to complete, though. Sludge Bomb again. Yeah, gonna be a... Okay, that did a ton of damage. Okay, I'm gonna heal up again, guys. Because the first one didn't do that much damage, so... And again, like, I don't... I could just Brave Bird, but I... I don't know, it's kind of weird. I just want everyone to be alive, I guess. It would just be nice. Please don't do as much damage. Okay, that was... I guess I just have to go for it. Um, I might just take myself out, but... Whatever, we have to go for it. Oh my god, Roserade <laughs> is faster than Staraptor, yikes. Okay, Roserade is kind of destroying me right now. Um, so what can we do then? I guess we go Frostlass. But Roserade is now speeding everyone. I mean, Frostlass might be faster though. But Roserade also has really good special defense. Let's see. 
Frostlass is going to be um, max speed EV trained again, like I said. Look at that. 202 speed. So let's see how fast a Raptor was just to kind of get an idea. Okay, 170, yeah. Frostlass should be faster then. I don't think she's going to one-shot with Ice Beam though, but we also have the Ice Skull Plate, so it's possible. And she did. Okay, nice. So I guess I should have just gone Frostlass to begin with. I really didn't think Star Raptor would get outsped. Shouldn't have underestimated Roserade, I guess. By the way, Frostlass should outspeed Garchomp. So if she goes Garchomp... Okay, Lucario is going to be... Yeah, that makes sense. Lucario is going to be very good. Um, so I think the play is going to be Luxray to Intimidate. And then I might just revive my Star Raptor or something. We could, like, stack Intimidates on this thing. Okay, he has an inner focus, so that just went out the window. Flash Cannon, though, will not do too much. Wow, that did a lot, considering it wasn't even very effective. Uh, but now I think we go for a Max Revive on... Uh, I don't know, because everyone's getting destroyed. Let's let's just heal up Star Raptor, I guess. I hope my Luxray doesn't get taken out here. Nasty plot. Okay, that's going to be troublesome. Okay, Luxray might have to take one for the team, actually. I mean, I don't see how someone's going to survive this. He's probably going to go Aura Sphere, and I do not have a switch in. In complete honesty. So I think Luxray's going to have to take one for the team here. Yeah, this is probably going to knock me out. Ouch. Special Lucario. But... Ooh, Garchomp would be so good, but he's not healthy. Um... Infernape might be faster. Okay, I'm going to hope Infernape is faster then and try and give him another chance. If he dies, that's just going to be sad, honestly. Uh, but worst case, my plan is just going to be like heal up Garchomp one turn and then Earthquake to take out. Uh, but let's see. Actually, do I even have Earthquake PP? I might not. Yikes. Okay, this might have gone really... Okay, Infernape's not that fast, actually. This, this might have been a mistake. Uh, go close combat, I guess. Oh god, I hope I don't get one shot. No, okay, that's bad. That's really, really bad. Um, I mean, Frostless will outspeed. So I guess we go... But I also do need Frostless for the Garchomp, though. That's the thing. So I guess... I guess we just throw off a Psychic here. Yeah, thank God we outsped. If I didn't outspeed, I would might have just lost to the Sucario here. Okay, that did nothing. Flashkin's gonna take me out. So what we're going to have to do, I think, is go Roserade, and, uh... Oh god, this is looking really bad, actually. I think we're going to have to go Roserade, fully heal up the Garchomp. Well, okay, let's compare stats between Frostlass and Garchomp, I guess. If Garchomp would be fast enough, then we don't really need to heal him up, I guess. 202. Garchomp is... 204, let's go! Okay, I knew I had faith in Garchomp. Okay, so instead, we're gonna have to lap a berry up on the Earthquake. Because, yeah, Earthquake's literally out of PP, so we're gonna have to do that. Sorry, Roserade, I have to sack you. Flash Cannon's gonna hurt. Gonna take me out, actually. Yeah, Lu this Lucario was insane, actually. Wow. Um, I underestimated him, but Garchomp will outspeed, and I don't see any world in which he survives a Garchomp Earthquake. Especially for my Garchomp. So let's knock it out. Let's go for it. Here we go. There we go. Nice. And so now... Her Garchomp's gonna come out, right? I think that's her ace Pokemon. If not, Lucario. I guess Gastrodon or Roserade became a Togekiss in the Platinum fight. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. Well, neither can I. I mean, I have not had this much difficulty. Oh my god, level 66 Garchomp. Oh god, uh... Let's go Star Raptor and get an Intimidate off, I guess. And then we're gonna have to Max Revive on Frostlass, I think. Another option is, like, constantly alternate and stack Intimidates on this thing, but he could have, like, Swords Dance as well. Dragon Claw, okay. Nice, we avoided it. Not, not what I was going for, but nice to get. Let's full Max Revive on Frostlass here. Because Frostlass should definitely outspeed. Unless he's like max EVs and plus speed nature like mine. Oh god, he has sword stance. Um, so we're going to have to start full sending it now and start attacking. Because any more setup and we could get destroyed. 
So, Brave Bird is time. Oh my god, he's stacking sword stances. Uh, I'm kind of scared now. I mean, Brave Bird should do at least half. Or almost half. Anyway. Seraptor is not weak. Yeah, Brave Bird popped off. Okay, that was a crit, I guess. Uh, rough. Wow, a Garchomp has the hidden ability. That's so cool, honestly. I really like that. I really hope she doesn't go for another sword stance, though. I won't let this end yet. This match is too fun to let it end this easily. I agree. Uh, will she full restore? Okay, Dragon Claw will definitely take me out. That's a plus three Garchomp. Yeah, that's gonna take me out. The question is, am I getting outsped on Frostless? And I think the answer is no. I really do think the answer is no. I mean, I could be wrong, but I just don't really see it happening. Okay, f oh my god, I got scared that that text meant he was going first, but okay. We should have won, guys, because Ice Beam is four times on Garchomp. There's no way he's gonna... Oh, he has a Yachi. Okay, he could survive this then. Yachi Berry. Yeah, does live it through the Yachi. Damn. Um... Moment of truth, do we outspeed? Another full restore? Okay, okay, well, she lost now. I think she had to go for the Dragon Claw and hope that she outspeeds me because that just guaranteed that he died, actually, because uh, no Yachi Berry now. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Let's go. Really hard fought battle. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking by hoping everyone was alive because there was no way that was happening in this fight. There was absolutely no way. But we did it. We won against Cynthia. Let's go. You defeated champion Cynthia? Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful challenger. And just now, you became the most powerful of all the trainers. You are now our newest champion. 26,000 Pokédolls. I'm gonna let this theme play for a little bit, just because it's also pretty nice. Alright. And just like that, we are done with the Pokemon League. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Now then, step onto the lift, and we're going to enter the Hall of Fame. Let's go. Wait, she's not coming with us. Or is she? Maybe not. Huh. I thought she came with us into the Hall of Fame. I also thought uh, Dawn and Rowan came with us too. Don't they? And now, they should come here. Yeah, there they are. Cynthia's here. I believe Dawn and Rowan come as well. The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. There they are. My friends. Is it only Rowan? So SK, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm, a trial that enlisted from a Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness their crowning achievement. SK, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Step this way, please, SK. Professor Rowan, I need you over here as well. Is Dawn not coming then? I thought she was. Okay, I guess not. Maybe that's only in uh, Platinum, then? And then she's not allowed in or something? Uh, it's been a long while since I last entered this room. If the last time you were here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. I wonder who she went up against to become champion. SK, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventures so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. And there they are, all my Pokemon. In their beauty. And they do get healed up as well, I think. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Garchomp. I'm going to screenshot everything. Or I should say their names. Jollypulp, Buddy... Snow Queen, Blue Flame, Sparky, and finally, Star Lily, which is Starly in German, I think. I was playing with my friend and she said that was the name. And there we go. League Champion, congratulations. Let's go, we did it. 
70 hours on the dot, pretty much. And just like that, our journey has come to an end. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. End credits, I guess? End cutscene. On the bicycle. Yeah, here we go. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I like the music. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of water. Then I'm gonna talk a little bit, I guess. Alright, so, honestly, that was quite a ride of a game. I personally loved it. I loved every single part of it. Um, ooh, Drift Loons. I have seen a lot of hate on Twitter, which I guess that sentence by itself can be applied to anything. It's not very surprising. Twitter is that kind of place. But I've seen a lot of hatred for the game and the remakes, and they're like, oh, they can just get away with the most basic of remakes, zero effort, no investment whatsoever just very lazy design and personally i disagree with that because i mean faithful remakes do have their place people obviously love this game i mean they got over 15 million sales i'm pretty sure which makes them like top five or top seven i think and also the best selling remakes of all time um compared to any remake so I don't really understand people who dislike the game i mean i mean i get that people have different viewpoints but I love the original games and I love the Switch, so just getting to relive my childhood like over 10 years ago and playing the game again, I had so much fun. The only thing I will understand completely is the fact that we're lacking some Platinum uh, additions and I definitely agree with that. I mean, contests could have been better, um, we could have had more areas, we could have had a better plot, like the plot was decent but I think in Platinum Cyrus has better ambition and obviously you do see Giratina in the main story of course. So you could have seen all of that. There are other Platinum exclusives as well, but I still enjoyed it a lot. There's still a lot of quality of life updates as well. Oh, another thing missing from Platinum was the Poketch, where you could go back and forth between the apps. Right now, you can only go forward. You can't go forward and then backwards. So I guess I can see that as well. But I mean, I love the games. In all honesty, I, I did love them. Um, and I'll continue to love them. I'm going to continue to play them. going to finish the regional decks then go on to finish the national decks try and get another living decks um i don't really like the move pool changes but that's not really this game's fault it's kind of brilliant it's kind of sword and shield's fault because they just nuked a bunch of moves which makes me kind of sad because i was big into like pokemon breeding uh, back in omega ruby alpha sapphire so i traded with a bunch of people i have i had a lot of shinies you know full ivs perfect ivs with special egg moves Almost all the egg moves just got straight up nuked, which kind of sucks. Move pools are different too. That's the only thing I really dislike, that and the missing additions from Platinum. But other than that, I mean, we got quality of life changes, right? We got uh, some new items. We got the hidden moves not being part of uh, hidden moves anymore. Just You can do it no matter what. That's really cool. Part of the poke catch. Um, TMs are TMs again. I guess that's kind of a downgrade instead of being perma-use which is really nice, but I mean, I think you have ways to get every single TM, right, with the Grand Underground. Oh, and Grand Underground was a big improvement from the normal Underground. I had a lot of fun with it, and it's really fun. Like, there are a lot of fun things to do. I mean, you have contests. I guess they're not that fun, but you have contests and poffins. You have berry planting. You have breeding, which I'll definitely start doing more as I get the... As I finish my Pokédex first, going to get the Shiny Charm first for that. Um... You have the Grand Underground, you have uh, Elite Four rematches, you do have the Battle Tower, which I'm going to get really into as well. I'm going to be grinding that, because I do want to get my Garchomp, the hidden ability, with the ability patch. 200 BP, I think, required for that. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with the games. I'm going to continue to have fun, I'm going to play them a lot, even after. I think there's still post-game content as well, with that island on the map. We'll be catching Heatran, we'll be going to Ramanos Park and catching all those legendaries. And of course, finishing the Pokédex. And Battle Tower again, and I think I'll never really get bored of breeding in the Battle Tower. I mean, obviously, eventually I'll get a little bit bored and not play as much, but I'll still always have time to play, because I do enjoy those two things. So, yeah, it looks like we're at the end of the credits, though. And I personally had a blast with these games. I mean, I can see people who didn't, but I love them, so I'm okay. And here we are, back in Twinleaf Town, at home after becoming the champion of the Sinnoh region. And will it fade to black here? It will. The end. Really, really great journey. I loved it. I really did.
And will we get to exit this screen if I press... Okay, I don't know if I get to... Okay, I did. Let's go. Um... Oh, another thing that's missing is the Looker side quest, I think. I don't think Looker's in this game, which kind of sucks. I mean, he starts, like, the Looker arc kind of starts right after you become the champion, right? Sadly, I don't think that happens anymore, but here we are, back in Twinleaf Town. We have the TV, we have our own Switch, that I'm actually playing this on, of course. And here we are. SK, Barry came looking for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he was shouting about you need to get on a ship at Snowpoint City. I do remember that. You know how impatient he is. He was gone before I could ask. Anyway, how's it going, kid? Is your project with Professor Rowan coming along? Okay, here we are. It's the contest di digest. And, okay. Mom is just watching TV. I'm not sure. Should I do it as part of this video, or should I do another video on this post-game stuff? Um... I guess I'll do a different video, because I just wanted this to be against Cynthia, and I mean we did it, right? Head to where Barry's calling you, they still do have the hint text, but there we go. Trainer card has one star now, 70 hours, Hall of Fame debut, or I don't know how uh, it's pronounced, whether it's debut or debut, probably debut though, I think. I don't know, I just haven't heard that word pronounced out loud in a long time, but 6th of June, which is today. There we go. I did start my adventure in January, but I only played, like, for a few hours with my friend, and then she kind of stopped playing, and I didn't play for, like, another two or three months ever since then, so I only really picked this game back up around April, I would say. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's gonna be it then. We did take on Cynthia and became the champion. I think we do get a medal for that as well, right? Yeah, Sino Champion Ribbon. There we go. Let's have our Garchomp walk with us. That was a really hard fight, man. That was really hard. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it, so hope you guys enjoyed our final journey, but our journey is far from over. Um, of course, we are going to head to Snowpoint, where we get on the ship, and then that's going to take us to this special island over here. And there's also going to be Stark Mountain over there. We have uh, the survival area, the fight area, and the resort area. I think the battle tower is in the fight area, right? Yeah, battle park. Battle tower, yeah. So I really want to get into that and start grinding that course um there's also something else that happened which was in uh the resort area down here i believe um valor lakefront or route 213 i guess it is resort hotel where someone said come here after you become the champion um also in the meantime before i finish the um before I record the next video, which will be like right after this, I'm going to check who 114 is, just because I do need that. I do want to get the National Pokédex as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching though, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one, where we continue our journey to get onto that special island that Barry is calling us to.